I'm Jack Little. I teach in the History Department at Simon Fraser University, where I've been since 1976. Uh, I'm primarily a Quebec historian, 19th century, focusing more on rural than urban society. Social historian, I guess, although I'm doing mostly cultural history as well uh, these days. Um, my past work has been focused a lot on the Eastern Townships, which is a borderland region I'm interested in because it's where the French and English sort of met in the 19th century and the Americans and the British and so on. So it's an interesting uh, kind of a frontier between these different populations and an area that not many people have done any work on. Um, but more recently, I've moved into a more nation nationwide topic looking at uh, travelers' narratives and Canada. And all of the work I've done in a way, religion and uh, gender and so on, I've been interested, perhaps the, the theme that holds it together is this interest I have in the development of a Canadian identity or whatever that might be. So, uh, you know, and how, what pressures were uh, ex exercise to create an, an identity that's distinct from the British and distinct from the Americans. Of course, that's a English-Canadian identity I'm talking about. French Canadians don't have the same issues with identity. Um, and so that's why I've gone in different directions to some extent, uh, looking at this from all angles. And the most recent one, as I said, is Traveler's Narratives because I'm interested in how outsiders uh, defined or at least uh, described Canadians. Again, I'm mostly working in the 19th century up to the automobile era, I'd say in World War I is where I'm, my work kind of peters out at the moment. Uh, so it gives me a chance to look at the Maritimes, look at each region of the country, which is, you know, and now that I'm nearing the end of my career, something that I think would be a good way to sum it up.